up, y'all? This is Mina Means. Once again, I'm the Time Oracle. It is Tuesday night. It is July 2nd, 2024. We're at the 20th hour, 59 minutes in. It is 8.59 p.m. Boy, oh boy, 8.59 p.m., huh? Mm-hmm. Energizer bunny. Somebody just keeps going and going and going and going. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm picking up. Boy, oh boy. Somebody wants you to stop though. Somebody wants you to take a break or make you feel like you need a break. Somebody might just want you to sit down, um, relax, stop, take a break for a moment. But the real question here is, should you? Mm-hmm. Somebody is very beautiful, very attractive too. Mm-hmm. Somebody is very attractive. You you are seen as very sexy. A lot of people regard you as very sexy. That's what I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. Somebody doesn't like that about you. Somebody does not like that about you, honey. Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking with a smile. Woo, boy, oh boy. I'm just picking up on wishful thinking with a smile. Mm-hmm. It's like somebody who says they wish you well, truly deep down, they don't wish you well. They want things to not work out for you is what I'm picking up. Somebody wants to see you cry. Woof. Damn, that's deep. Somebody wants to see you cry. Somebody wants to see you in pain. Somebody wants to see you suffer is what I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. But you just keep going and going and going and going. This is what, what's bothering someone. Mm-hmm. Oh, honey, this is this is this is going to end very well for you. I'm just going to let you know that whatever is going on here is going to end very well for you. That's just what I'm picking up. Mm hmm. There is there is bad, wishful thinking coming from the minds of a silent hater Coming from the minds of those who you think are for you, those who might smile in your face, okay? Mm hmm However things might seem right now, whether they seem good or bad, it don't even matter. It doesn't even matter, honey. Because somebody here is an energizer bunny. They just keep going, 
and going and going. That's just what I'm picking up. Let's dig in this book. Speak to me, Father God, what's going on? Heavenly Father, please speak to me. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Speak to me, Heavenly Father. Show me what I need to see. What's going on? Mm -mm 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 -mm. What is going on, boy, oh boy? I see a body on the right page, right smack in the center. I do not see the arms or the legs of this body. Somebody does not want you to move. They don't want you to do. They don't want you to go. They don't want you to be able to do anything for yourself. It's literally a body. No arms and no legs. It's just what I see. They don't want you to be able to do anything for yourself. I see the number 10. Somebody could be a Capricorn. Something could be um, an ending. Somebody, somebody's hoping and wishing that all things end for you. Somebody could be the Antichrist, honey. Yeah. Ooh, somebody does not. <laughs> want you to move forward at all somebody is evil be careful with people coming around you and they're just evil as hell but they smile in your face i see a heart i see a red flag with a heart be careful with those who come to you and say they love you or they have love for you please be careful because somebody doesn't want you to be able to do anything for yourself Mm hmm. But then I also see a skyrocket stemming from that body with no arms and no legs. So somebody is going to take off, but somebody's trying to stop you from taking off because somebody here just keeps going and going and going. I see a person here with bags holding two bags, one on each arm. But this person is coming in very balanced. So somebody is able to do for themselves. This could be a feminine energy. She does have on feminine attire. Okay. Somebody could be tracking down your every move. Maybe you have a stalker. The letter V like victory. The number five. Somebody could be a Leo. Somebody could be a Taurus energy as well. The letter A. The letter M like Mary. Mm -hmm. On the left page. Something comes in or somebody is trying to come in greater than you. I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm picking up greater than yourself. Something is greater than yourself. It's like a huge shadow. Somebody who, who's coming in very tall and strong and they come in to just overshadow your whole entire being. Somebody that's just too big for you. Is this what I'm picking up? Because I see the image of a man and it's like he's hovering down on a woman, like as if to kiss her, but he's just way too big for her. Something comes in greater than yourself. This is on, on the left page. Or maybe this is what somebody is trying to avoid you getting. They're trying to stop this from coming towards you. This could be a great love. I don't know. The letter F like Frank. The number six or the letter G. 
Virgo energy, also Gemini. I see the letter H. Mm hmm. I see a broken heart at the bottom of this left page, right along with a tower. Boy, oh boy, this is past. This is past. Let me find out if this is just a matter of somebody wanting to come in to do everything for you, to take care of you. I do see a, a, a dollar sign. Okay, the money symbol on the right page. So maybe this is what this is about. Maybe somebody just doesn't want you to do anything. They just want to take care of you. But you do have a mission to complete on this here earth. I see the wheels. Oof. This don't look good. Those wheels do not look good. The, uh, oh, no. Mm-mm. This looks like somebody being wheeled into an ambulance, honey. I, I hear some sirens in the far distance. My window's not open. Hold on. And it's 911. And it's 911. You see that? You hear the sirens now? Oh, yeah, I see a body laid out on a stretcher being wheeled and carried into an ambulance. This don't look too good. The body smack in the middle of the right page with no arms and no legs. That This is starting to sound like an accident to me. Or this is possibly what somebody is hoping and wishing on you. Wishful thinking. This This doesn't look too good. Somebody doesn't wish you well. No way, honey. No way. Mm-hmm. Yep. The letter S like Sam. The letter C. CS is what I'm looking at here. CS. Mm hmm. Something here about work, the workplace, or maybe a restaurant. I see two tables. This could be two cubicles. I am looking at two screens, two desks, two computer screens is what I'm looking at here. There could be something here about work. I see two tables, two chairs, tablecloth. Something happened last month. Or maybe something that's going to happen this month around the 6th. This whole week, I see, I see the 5th and the 6th. Let me find out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something is not looking too good around here. Something is very off. The letter K. Yeah. The letter D, like dog. Boy, oh boy, all these letters and initials and things. I see at the bottom of the right page, it says L-A-S-S, -S, last or loss, last, last or loss. That could be an O too. Somebody's going to suffer loss. Something here about walking, somebody walking. Let me find out somebody got a whole hater who's like, let me find out somebody wants to run your ass over with a car. You know, this is starting to sound real deep and, and, and it's just, it's getting weird. All right, let's just get these cards. She riseth not. Mm, 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 mm. I can't make this up. Somebody does not want you to rise. Okay. At the bottom of this deck, we have Hunter. This is the devil card. 
The Hunter says, track down your fears and desires, granted. But this is the devil card for me. It is what it is. Heavenly Father, speak to me, please. What's going on? Oof. What's going on? You're very beautiful. The water guardian. You could be a water sign. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Connect with your emotions. Maybe you're not a water sign. Okay. But you're very beautiful. Okay. Something about love. This is Ace of Cups for me. Okay. This is the main energy and it didn't fall. It just flipped over right in my hands, honey. Okay. Now we have arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. So there's definitely negative energy around you. Simply because you're beautiful. Simply because you have a lot of admirers. I did say that in the beginning of this reading. You have a lot of admirers. People are looking at you like you're very beautiful. You're very sexy. You have a lot of attention around you. And somebody don't like that. Negative energy around you. We have the druid. We have winter. We have the guardian angel. We have the sun. We have the star ancestor. We also have the shaman. We have the direction guardian. We have the hunter. We just had the hunter at the bottom. Now we're looking at the elder in the seven o'clock with the spring and the eight. We have the magic guardian over there in the ten. Why the hell am I not surprised? And the night. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. Mm, 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 mm. The magic guardian. Unlock the magic within. This is in Capricorn's house. Somebody is playing with fire. Somebody is doing dark magic on you, honey. This is why they're smiling at you. Mm -hmm. This is in a 10 o'clock position. Okay. When we go to the five, we have that damn devil right here. Quit playing. So because you have a lot of admirers right now, you're being seen as very beautiful and sexy and a lot of people could be talking about you and saying, who's that, you know, who's that girl, la 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 Let me find out, okay? Somebody is hoping and wishing that you end up with somebody who's going to ruin your life, a devil, okay? Somebody wants to see you ruined is what I'm picking up. It says here, direction guardian in the four o'clock position, four o'clock being the chariot, right? Moving on strong. Four o'clock is many things to me. It's the house of stability, of love, it's divine feminine, but it's also chariot. And it says here, direction guardian, choose your path. You're going to have to choose your path wisely because um, somebody is trying to tamper with the direction of your destiny is what I'm picking up. Okay. The sun is shining though. The sun is definitely shining. It says enjoy success and happiness. The sun is here. So regardless of what darkness or shade anybody's trying to throw on your parade, on your sunshine, regardless, the sun is still going to shine. You're good. But, you know, this is just a message for you to know who's around you. Because for some of you, this person could be somebody who you speak to, who you talk to, who you think is your friend. And they're not. We have winter. The winter card says take care of your needs. This is in a six o'clock position. Be careful of somebody coming in trying to offer you something, trying to say, you know, oh, I got you. You know, watching you be in a time of need and then and then coming in to say, I got you or let me help you out. Be careful of that because somebody is a whole wolf out here in sheep's clothing. Look at the elder. Move beyond ancestral patterns. In the justice house. So regardless of what this is about, regardless of if you know who, who this devil is, who this wolf in sheep's clothing is, don't fight fire with fire. The elder is saying move beyond ancestral patterns. Don't seek to get revenge. Just keep moving. Just keep going like the Energizer Bunny. Because the sun is going to continue to shine. We have the spring here. See your seeds grow. This is what they don't want to see. This is an 8 o'clock position, honey. In the death house. They do, they're trying to kill the seeds. They're trying to kill the weeds, honey. They're trying to uproot your seeds so that they don't grow. They don't want to see you grow. But you're going to continue to grow anyway because there's a guardian angel here. You are not alone. You have a guardian angel. 
Okay, we have the night. Look at the night. The night is in the 11 o'clock position. This says be brave and honest. Somebody needs to be honest about a situation. Okay, somebody needs to go hermit mode and look within because, you know, somebody has to reflect on that deep rooted hatred that they have for you. Look at the star ancestor. This says follow the voice of your soul in the one o'clock position. Follow your intuition. Know what's going on. Don't think that, you know, you receive an intuitive message today about a devil and then tomorrow they smile at you and you think, oh, no, this person's actually cool. Uh-uh. Follow the voice of your soul. Know what's going on. Because the messages and the signs from above are going to come to you beforehand. So as to warn you, we have the shaman. This says trust in higher forces in the two o'clock position. Okay. Druid. This says hold the space in the 12 position. Somebody's trying to hold the space, hold you, keep you, withhold something from you. I don't know. But this is in a 12 o'clock position. Deep down, this is what somebody's secret is, is that, is that they want to hold you back. Withhold something from you. Okay. Let's put some earrings on it. Speak to me, Father God, what's going on? Let's put some earrings around this whole entire clock. We're going to double this session right here. Ooh, we have pull out the tea. Again, energies that flip, they don't fall, just like this water guardian. So we have pull out the tea. We have Biff. We have a bully involved. And we have set you up. Woo! Boy, oh boy. So somebody comes in. I don't know if this is a new person or maybe this is somebody who's currently in your world, but somebody poses as a, a, a friend. Somebody poses as a friend, but really they are not your friend. This person wants to force you into a situation. They're trying to get you either to date somebody. Maybe they have somebody that they know and they want to say to you, hey, you know, I want you to meet this person, but they know this person is not good for you. Or this is just simply about somebody trying to force you into a situation where um, they're able to set you up. Okay, it says here shortbread cookies. Shortbread. Again, this is taking me back to winter. Take care of your needs in the six o'clock. But, you know, somebody who comes in saying, you know, I got you, but then they don't got you and you're sitting up here with no ends. No way to, 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 to um, provide for yourself or get yourself out of a situation. This has been coming on strong for weeks now and, and, and not to be a repetitive reading, but this is kind of like... Um, a continuation or this is somebody trying to for, to perfect the plan so we have karma Woo, boy oh boy mm -hmm. we have band we have 10 o'clock we have no wedding bells we have sexual harassment. We have the side eye, the direction guardian with the she rises not, boy oh boy. We set it off with the she rises not. Now we're looking at holier than thou, pray on the weak. We have self hate, we have come on, and we have the craft. We set it off with she rises not at the bottom of the earring deck. Now this is coupled with the direction guardian. Okay, somebody is trying to get you to go left when you should be going right. They're trying to get you to go down when you should be going up. 
Somebody's trying to get you to go in the opposite direction of your destiny. Somebody's trying to get you to go somewhere else than, than, than to where you had planned to go initially, okay? We have no wedding bells. No wedding bells is coupled with the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. This is in the three o'clock. Now, the crazy thing is that no wedding bells has the time of 702. Today's date is 702. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beware of somebody trying to come in and saying, let me help you. Can I help you? Beware of somebody coming in trying to befriend you. Beware of someone trying to say, hey, let's hang out. Look at the side eye, evil eye, wishful thinking, coupled with the shame and trust in higher forces. Be very careful. Somebody is throwing you evil eye. They're throwing you evil eye so that you don't have the kind of love that will last this says no wedding bells i cannot make it up we have sexual harassment here coupled with the star ancestor follow the voice of your soul this is what somebody wants for you this is what somebody's wishing for you this is what they want for you they want you to get sexually harassed, possibly raped. I don't know, but this is what somebody wants. I feel like somebody could be trying to set you up with the kind of person that will do this or who, who is this kind of person. Let me find out. Because when we go to the 11 o'clock position, we have the craft. Somebody is tampering with the magic here. With the dark arts, this is coupled with the night, and this could be a man. Be brave and honest. The craft with the dark magic in the 11 o'clock, quit playing with me. Okay, but let's not forget that we already have a female in the devil's house with come on. So there could be a couple. This could be about a couple doing this on you. Maybe it's not a couple. Maybe, maybe somebody paid someone to do it. Regardless, I see two people here. Tampering, tampering with dark magic. Okay. But the karma is here in the 12. Quit playing. Karma. This person is not going to see their seeds grow. They're not going to move on and move forward. They're, because this is in Judas's house. I'm also picking up on secret revenge. Revenge for what? Because you blocked somebody. Look at the band coupled with the wolf. In a six o'clock. Somebody feels some type of way because they've been blent, banned, blocked. Come on. We have holier than thou out here with the hunter. Beware of somebody coming in like they all spiritual, but they're really a devil. They're in the five o'clock position. Quit playing with me. We have prey on the week. Come on with the elder. This, this could be somebody who's older than you. Maybe not. Maybe this is just somebody who, you know, they just want to bully you. They want to force you into a situation. We have self-hate. Somebody doesn't love themselves. Somebody hates themselves. Maybe this is somebody who works hard. To see, you know, not enough reward at the end of the day. But you sitting up here enjoying success and happiness with the sun over there. And then, you know, you get to see your seeds grow. Yeah, they don't like you. And you get to shine. And people like you. And you looking good out here in these streets. Look at the 10 o'clock. It says X. Okay. With the guardian angel, you are not alone. For some of you, you have an ancestor that is with you. Okay. You have ancestors that are with you. Please be careful because there's a lot of deceit going on around you and you're coming in as divi the, the, the divine one, whether you're feminine or masculine, the water guardian, connect with your emotions. You have a big heart, you love, you, you're happy right now and somebody could be trying to use that against you. They're preying on the weak. Boy, oh boy. Speak to me, Father God, what's going on? Well, let's just put the word on it. Heavenly Father, how do we...
Can you speak to me, please? What's going on? Tell us more about the craft and the dark magic and all of that stuff, Twin Towers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They want you to fall so hard. It's all, it also says here, child. Somebody is doing dark magic on your love life. And what they want is for you to end up having a child by someone who's going to leave you. By someone who's going to use and abuse you. This is actually two cards. Woo! Look what's behind the tower. The sun. The tower and the light. Okay. Somebody, this is what somebody is doing. Somebody, you know... Uh, some of you, you're so single and you could be dating. Maybe you feel like you found the one. I don't know. But regardless, there's a choice to be made here with this direction guardian and she rises not. Somebody wants you to end up prego by the wrong person, by a karmic who's going to leave you. It's just what I'm picking up. Anything else? We have first family. First family, this is going from right to left. For some of you, this is your first child or somebody's first child, but it's going from right to left. It's like saying, I regret, I regret this. Okay. I'm also picking up, you know, um, family who is not going to accept you, family who is not going to embrace you. Somebody wants you to end up in a karmic situation with someone where you end up having a child with this person, you know, and the family hates you. We have Matthew 22. Nobody celebrates you. We have the fig tree. Somebody is trying to speak death into your life. This could be a Sagittarius energy. This is James the Less at the bottom. Somebody could be a single parent. Somebody is speaking evil into your life is what I'm picking up. Okay, anything else? We have met, uh, we have John 101. In the beginning, there was the word. Something here about a conversation that took place in the beginning. We have a whole bunch of energies that fell over here between four and five. Look at Judas. The person who will betray you with a kiss. Quit playing. Okay, this all, hold on. This all fell out with with the creator look at god look at god watching judas quit playing okay god is watching judas we have second timothy this is somebody who just wants to come in and use you lay up in your house look at the resurrection this could be somebody who you rejected okay this could also be an ex i don't know this could be somebody who's somebody's trying to hook you up with too look at the prophet but you know what you know is that you know the weight. Look at Job 26. You know the weight. You know the weight. Come on now. You're wise enough to wait this out. Look at pass through the fire. Well, all this dark magic that's going on, you will not be burned. Okay, look at the Garden of Eden. And look at the woman. Look at Divine Feminine. Somebody's trying to tempt you. Somebody's coming in like that slithering serpent that, that was gliding through the Garden of Eden trying to tempt Eve. Come on. They're, try, they're trying to tempt you. You hear the sirens in the back. And then you see 7 o'clock at the bottom. This is karma. Quit playing. Karma for this Judas who's coming into your world. Look at the energies that fell out in reverse. We have Sodom and Gomorrah. Boy, oh boy. With the woman at the well. And Adam and Eve. You're not going to fall for this. This is in reverse. This is what they're wishing upon you. This fell on top of set you up energy. Okay. Somebody is trying to... Somebody is, is doing dark magic on your love life, on your health, on your body. Okay. They're trying to send you Judases. And, but you know the weight though. Karma for this person who's doing the dark magic. Karma for these devils they're sending to you. Anything else from the word deck? Speak to me, Heavenly Father, what's going on? Anything else? Boy, oh boy. Mm, 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 mm. These fell in the 8 o'clock position. We have the Holy Family. Okay. We have Matthew 22. It says here, Autumn. 
Something about last autumn or, or the coming autumn. I don't know. But it says here earthquake. Something deep, powerful, and strong is going to take place. Okay. Look at Jude. This is Aquarius. Okay. This card says raging waves of the sea foaming out their own shame. Wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Boy, oh boy. Something is going to happen, honey, to somebody. Okay. Look at somebody's going to fall. Woo! Somebody is going to fall. Or this could be what they're wishing upon you. Okay, but the Holy Family is here. Psalms 23. The Holy Family is here. With the Matthew 22. Mm-hmm. Look at Psalms 59. Something about your enemies. Boy, oh boy. Something about your enemies here. Watching you. Just watching you. What else we have over here coupled with Psalms 59? Lazarus. Mm-hmm. And baptism. Somebody has a new beginning. Somebody has a new beginning and they can't stand it. Anything else from the word deck. Okay, his eyes on a sparrow. Watching you like a hawk. Quit playing. This fell on top of the Judas card. Okay, look at Matthew 5, 27. This is a whole cheater. Quit playing with me. Anything else from this word deck? Going once, going twice. Okay, going into four times. Nothing else is coming out. One time for your mind. Okay, Psalms 109. Look at that. Psalms 109. This is how this ends for these people. Again, karma is in the 12 o'clock position. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going down. This is a cursed individual. This is a cursed person. These are people who, who just, they are disgusted with themselves. Let's just go to the oracle. Speak to me, Father God. How do we sum this reading up? Speak to me, Father God. How do we sum this? Oof, boy, oh boy. And we have energies that flew off the clock. Looks like this deck just wants to speak. We have Palo Santo at the bottom. This is the guardian. Okay. Woo! Palo Santo falls out with strength. With the strength. Quit playing. Okay. And the acceptance. Guardian strength and acceptance. Somebody doesn't want you to be accepted. They don't want you to be strong. They want you to be weak. They don't want you to have guardians out here watching you. Okay, look at the community. Let me find out somebody wants you to be a hoe. And that's pretty much what it is. Okay, patience. This is the energy that fell out and it fell out right on top of the cross, honey. You know to wait this out. You know to wait this out. Number 35, patience. This is our oracle. It says, horsetail. Endurance, steady focus, period of gestation, trusting the process, heightened sensitivity. As guidance, the horsetail teaches us the power that lies within patience and the endurance gained through the hidden blessings of challenges. There is something good in all seeming failures. And although that might not be clear in the moment, time will reveal it. Trust the process. Remember that stubbornness and willfulness are counterproductive to loosening knots. Instead, like the medicine of horse, ground to earth's energy as you survive and adapt to changes and hardships on the journey horse medicine provides us heightened sensitivity and the purity of trust as essential tools to have while we endure challenge and hardship What's going on here is that somebody's trying to rush you. Somebody's trying to force a situation. 
into your life when it is not yet seasoned for that. It's not time for that yet. Somebody wants you to lose patience. But you know. You know better. You know to wait this out. Beware of those who try to pull your arm left or right. Listen, you know what you got to do. Just be very careful of those around you because many people don't wish you well. Many people want to see you to ruins. So with that being said, this is Mina Means once again. I am the Time Oracle. Take what resonated from this here reading. Leave the rest. I always leave you with peace, love, and everything beautiful from up above. I am out. One.